Hello everyone, it's the start of a brand new week, so we're going to do an angel message for you and I'm going to use the love and light oracle, this is a beautiful deck, and I'm going to bring in the awakened dreamer oracle cards because you are an awakened dreamer and you have power within you right now. So these are going to be kind of action steps you're being guided to do or something you're being guided to work on to bring in power and these are going to be messages from high above. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for this day, for this brand new week? What would you like everyone to know? What guidance have you got from above about this week? Here we go. One card, powerful. What would you like everyone watching to know or to work on on this day? Wow, power coming in. Here we go. So the message then from heaven today is celebrate the beautiful gift of life. Wow, what a beautiful message celebrate the beautiful gift of life so your life is a gift you know you've been given this gift that's why it, you know it's called the present if you think about that the present moment is all we ever really have because the past goes away it's gone we can't change it we can only accept it and the future hasn't yet occurred we can visualize it and create it but it's not quite here so the power is in the now and it's a present or a gift because it's been given to you from God. And it's beautiful. Every day deserves to be celebrated. Just the fact that you've woke up this morning and you have air to breathe is a miracle in itself. So the angels are asking you today to be grateful, to celebrate you, to celebrate your life and be in the now. And it says, let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice let the sea and everything in it show, shout his praise. So this is about praising life and praising you and being proud of how far you've come. And this really resonates with a daily angel reading I did the other day because it was about praising you, being grateful, thinking about how far you've come and what you've achieved and your power. So if you've had enough of life, it's a gift that you've been given. And the angels want you to be aware of that because when we're in the soul plane, we are queuing up to come down here, to learn, to grow, to evolve our soul. You know, we're in a queue waiting. Just imagine you're in a supermarket queue waiting, waiting to be served, waiting to get your hands on your goodies and to go home and cook a nice meal or to make something magical. That's how you feel in the spirit realm, in the astral realms, you know, when you are waiting to be reincarnated. And the angels are saying to you, so be grateful. You're here for a reason. You have a mission and you are safe. And the only time we feel that our life is not a gift is when we're not getting what we want. So we feel angry. We feel frustrated. Things don't seem to make sense. Or we think things should go a certain way. So we have unrealistic expectations or we don't give it to heaven you know we don't allow the universe to step in and bring in what we want so we go in fear so the only time we really think that life is not a gift is when we're going through fear when we're going through pain when we're stressed out when we're losing things in our life and we don't understand why but when we take back our power and realize there is a reason for all things and everything does have a reason, then everything starts to make sense. We focus on a bigger picture, realizing that, wow, everything is exactly as it's meant to be for your learning, for our growth, for change. So the angels are saying to you today, heaven on earth. So this is reminding you that your life is what you make it. Do you see your life today as a beautiful gift or as something that's kind of mundane to you? or something that's frustrating to you, because life can be heaven, or it can be hell, it's how you make it, it's how you see it, because perception is everything, you know, perception is reality, everything that happens to you in this life is neutral, it's the way you see it that makes it good or bad, so your life can be heaven, or it can be hell, and if you feel like your life is hell right now, you can turn it around like that with the power of gratitude, by being grateful, by looking for all the good things in your life now. And if you can't think of anything, the fact that you are awake 
that you are aware that you breathe in the air, that you have clothes to wear, that you have a roof over your head, and that you have the power within you to change your life is enough. So be grateful. Look for the positive aspects in your situation. You know, if it's your situation that's grinding you down, making you regret coming, or putting you into pain energy, start looking instead of the negatives for the positives. What's it teaching you? How are you growing? What are you starting to see? Because you become the observer of your life, understanding that you are in the school of life and everything is here to grow your soul. Every person, every situation, everything has a purpose in your life. Even the person who serves you in a shop is teaching something to you. So trust the journey. So heaven is always just a perception away, available every day in every way. You are in heaven now, even as you are on earth, surrounded by loving souls, exploring and expanding in your consciousness. Spend today seeing earth through the eyes of heaven. What a beautiful message. Spend the day today seeing life through the eyes of heaven. So you choose how you feel. You choose what type of day you're going to have and you choose what life you are having by the way you think, the way you speak and the way you feel. So feel good today. Focus on love. See the world with fresh eyes. Start looking at everything as the observer. And if something happens to you, say, wow, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Even if it triggers you, and it creates pain or stress. Isn't that interesting? You're learning to respond with love. You're learning to be at peace. You're learning to trust. You're learning to have faith in who you are. You're learning that there is a bigger picture and a reason for all things. You are learning that life is a gift. So celebrate your life today. We've got sustainable sacred service. So this is why you've come. You know, you are a light worker. You're not here to kind of do a boring job and, you know, kind of watch tally and go to bed and repeat it, eat, sleep, repeat. You are here for a mission, a purpose, and that purpose is within you. It's the thing that excites you. Most of you will be working on some form of your mission right now, some form of service, something that lights you up inside, and it will be sustainable. So the message that's coming through is when you focus on service, service to who you are, the things that light you up, helping others, you know, guiding, being a leader, being a star in the, in the sky, you know, being the light. When you're doing that, the journey in the universe will sustain you. So in other words, you'll be given everything you need. So if you're worried about leaving your job because you're worried about paying the bills, but you want to work on your mission, the universe will sustain you. You know, when you make that decision and you move away from fear, you'll be given everything that you've ever wanted. It may take some time, but great things do take time. And then it'll blow your mind. It'll happen. The more you put in, the more you get out. And when you do something you love to do, you never work a day in your life because you are happy and you are loving what you do. You can't wait to get up in the morning to fulfill your mission sustainable sacred service you only get to keep what you give away and that's so true we give we receive what you give out you get back and some people think you're in the matrix that's crazy you know people hoard things or hold on to things or save and the angels are saying give give love give time give money give you and you'll get all of that coming back to you. Because when you give with love and a kind heart and a genuine kind of feeling, you receive it back. So you only get to keep what you give away. So seek to share every day. So every day, share you. Even if it's just a smile to a stranger or a compliment here and there. It's beautiful. And it brings it back to you. Rejoice when you find someone to give your time, your money, your wisdom, or your attention to. Give from the overflow of your bounty and notice how you're replenished even before the act is completed. And that's because it makes you feel good when you are giving. So when you're in the process of giving, it feels good. And then the universe returns things to you. In The Magic by Rhonda Byrne, 
you learn how to give, you learn how to be grateful, how to be thankful for everything around you, how to be grateful for what you give. So even when you pay the bills, you see it as you are giving to that company for sustaining you with the service that you are using. So instead of thinking, oh, I've got to pay the gas bill today, you think, wow, thank you for heat and power and energy. And you start thinking of it that way. And then you don't mind paying your bills and you find the money to pay the bills comes to you easily and effortlessly because you are abundant and you are filled with bounty. So this is remembering that heaven can be on earth if you make it. It's not a far off place. It can be here and now. And that will sustain you when you start to give. We've got magical me. What a powerful message. Magical me. So you are magical. And you realise this more and more on your journey that you are a creator. And the words I am bring in power. I am abundant. I am successful. I am worthy of love. I am rich in all things. I am healthy. I am feeling good. I am ready for my best life. And that's magic. It's like you've got your own magical wand like Harry Potter and you can make things happen. Expelliarmus, you know, you make things happen. You can move things out of your life and you can bring things into your life. You have that power and the law of attraction is always working whether you believe it or not. So you're always creating with the thoughts that you are thinking. If you go there in the mind, you go there in your physical world, it starts to manifest. If you think it, you can bring it. You know, your thoughts have power. So remember that today, it's a new week as I record this in real time. So think, what do I want in my life? What would I love to happen this week? Manifest it, create it, intend it. And then watch the blessings come in because you are a magical me. Past, present and future collide in the kaleidoscope of your multicoloured, multi-textured, multi-layered beauty. And they're giving me fear. Because some people do fear thinking thoughts because you think oh I'm going to manifest negativity or I'm going to bring in something I don't want but there is a time delay so if you notice things are going wrong in your life you have the power to change it now that's the gift you've been given so the past that you've had the present that you are living now and the future that you are creating has all been brought to you by the power of your thoughts and that can change your life Especially when you realise that you've manifested things. You know, in the past, you've maybe have manifested something you didn't want. But you've grown from it. So you manifested it to learn. Everything is a lesson. Everything is a learning curve in this school of life. Past, present and future collide. So everything's rolling into one. Everything's making sense to you because this is a multi-layered universe. And you are a multifaceted creature. Okay, because you are spiritual beings having human experiences right now. When you are present in the now, which remember is worth celebrating, you are ageless, you are timeless, you are weightless, you are eternal and empowered to create a truly magical filled life. Starting now. And they're giving me the word now there, it's in capital letters, now. Don't worry about the past let it go. Don't stress over it. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Forgive the other people. They were learning and so were you. Be in the now. Be present now. It's where the peace is. And when you're living in the now, it feels good. It feels good. You, you get pain and struggle when you're going over the past. Going over it. I wish I'd done this differently. Why did I do that? You feel crazy. You know, or you feel embarrassed about what you've done or you know, you're just kind of beating yourself up. It doesn't help anything. Be in the now. Forgive yourself. Let it go. It's gone. Accept it. Bless it. And be present now. And then think of the future in a positive way. Don't let the ego scare you or put you into stress or fear with what if scenarios that never come to pass. What if I don't, it doesn't work out. What if it fails? What if they never contact me again? What if I can't pay the bills? What if it doesn't work out? What if, what if, what if? 
say so what so what has power in the now you know your power and when you know your power you can do anything in this life you know this is a limitless vast universe so the universe is saying today do it now i'm with you guiding you and you'll feel better healthier ageless weightless that's why on this journey when you start waking up and you're more present in the now and in your consciousness you feel younger than you ever have you know when i look at photos of me from my 20s i look younger now because time is illusion and you feel weightless because all that baggage you've been carrying around from the past or all the stress over the future is lifted from you and you feel weightless you feel, oh all the tension goes away you have the power now to live your best life so have confidence and i love this because they've put confi dance dance with the journey feel at peace move your body relax have some fun and feel confident in who you are you are divinely made so that means you weren't an accident or a mistake you were created perfectly for your mission you were created perfectly for your person you were created perfectly for you you glisten with love and glow with genius so you've been reminded you are intelligent you were switched on you were tuned in to heaven to your thoughts and your feelings and they are guiding the way no matter what you may be going through no matter how hard it seems or what struggles happening roll back your shoulders and that releases tension lift your head high which gives you power move your hips and sway which means you're releasing your dance with the journey shimmy and rock out with confidence to the rhythm of your dream life so dance through your day to day if you start feeling stressed out put some music on one of my favorite songs is love your life or love my life by robbie williams put that on and blast it out because you are fabulous and you are beautiful and you are strong and you can do anything another one i love is rise by katy perry i won't just survive you will see me thrive okay rise up know your power another great one is point of view okay i think it's by db boulevard and that's about no matter what's going on no matter what stress is you can always see things from a higher point of view so rock out to your favorite music today blast it up dance around when you're doing the dishes when you walk into work you know put your headphones in if you walk in the dark you're going for a run whatever you're doing today dance with life and celebrate it celebrate you celebrate life celebrate why you've come because you queued up for this you made a conscious choice to be born and you know what you've come here to do all you have to do is relax breathe have some fun to access that have a great day sending you so much love and i'll see you soon